Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the transformer equivalent resistance. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic equivalent resistance. Consider this transformer, so, this is the iron core having the primary winding and secondary winding. This winding is inductor, inductance coil, but this inductor also having some amount of resistance that is called R1. This R2 is the resistant in the secondary coil. R1 is the resistant in the primary coil. Both primary and secondary coil is a inductive coil, but inductive coil also having some amount of resistance that is called R1 and R1 and R2. Suppose we can transfer this secondary resistance R2 into primary, similarly primary resistance into secondary. At the time we need to find what is the equivalent resistance. When the transfer and the resistance are transferred from secondary to primary or primary to secondary, there is a equivalent resistance equation is available. That equation we will see in this topic. So the R1 is the resistance of primary winding, R2 is the resistance of secondary winding. When all parameters are one side, calculation is simple. If you transfer all the parameter in one side, either primary side or secondary side, the further calculation will be simpler. So that we are transferring the parameters. Not only resistor, we can transfer resistor, current, voltage, everything we can transfer from one side into other side. Let us transfer the resistance. In this, we will see the resistance. Resistance of secondary winding R2 to the primary side. So, we are going to transfer this R2 from secondary side to primary side. At that time, what is the equivalent resistance that we are going to obtain in this topic? So, R2 dash is the equivalent secondary resistance after transferring to primary. So, R2 is the resistor available in the secondary winding while transferring into primary it become R2 dash. So, R2 dash is nothing but equivalent secondary resistance refer to the primary. But R2 should produce the same effect in the primary as R2 produced in the secondary. So, while transferring the resistance from secondary to primary it have the same effect. The effect should not change. What is the effect available in the secondary by R2? The same effect should be produced in the primary with R2 dash. So, that is our aim. For that, we need to find the equivalent resistance, the equivalent equation. If I1 is the current in the primary, I2 is the current in the secondary. We will consider I1 is the current flowing through the primary winding, I2 is the current flowing through the secondary winding. So, drop across R2 in secondary is R2 is I2 square into R2. In the secondary side, the voltage drop across, the drop across the R2 is I2 square into R2, because referring the secondary winding. The same thing in the primary winding, the same the drop across R2 in primary is nothing but I1 square, because now it is primary winding. Similarly, while referring the primary, the R2 is referred as R2 dash. So, this is the normal one. I2 square R2 is the resistor available in the secondary and secondary current. While transferring primary, it becomes I1 square. Primary current is I1 square. The resistor becomes R2 dash. So, based on that, these two are both are equal. Both the effects are equal. So, I2 square equal to I1 square into R2. This is referring the secondary, this is transferred to the primary. So, from this equation we can write R2 dash, this R2 dash equal to bring this I1 square in the denominator. So, I2 square divided by I1 square into R2, right. So, this I2 dash is brought in the denominator, which, so that we can able to find the R2 dash. So, that can be written as I2 by I1 the whole square, here also square available, here also square available. So, R2 dash equal to I2 by I1 the whole square into R2. We know that I1 by I2 is the K, transformation ratio I1 by I2. Here, I2 by I1 is available. So, that 1 by K, right, based on the transformation ratio, I1 by I2 is K. So, so that I2 by I1 is 1 by K square. So, R2 square R2 dash equal to 
R2 divided by K square. So, R2 is the resistor referred in the secondary while transferring to the primary it become R2 dash. So, that equivalent resistance is R2 divided by K square. So, when the R2 is divided by K square, we can obtain the resistor referring the primary R2 dash equal to R2 divided by K square. So, in general, if any parameter transfer from secondary to primary, normally it is divided by K. While transferring from primary to secondary, it is multiplied by K. Now, we will go to the total resistance. So, the total resistance in the primary is the R01 by referring primary as well as secondary. It is nothing but R1 plus R2 dash. R1 is the resistor of the primary. R2 dash is the secondary resistor while transferring to the primary it become R2 dash. So, R1 plus R2 dash is total is nothing but R01 that is equivalent resistance of the transformer as referred to the primary that is the secondary resistor is, connected, is transferred to the primary. So, that it is called R01. See that refer the diagram R1 this is the primary winding resistant. R2 dash is the secondary winding resistant transferred to the primary. So, both are connected in series. So, it is added together that is nothing but R01. So, R01 equal to R1 plus R2 dash. So, now the resistor is transferred to the primary. So, the any calculation it will be easier. Only we have R01 that is equal to R1 plus R2, R2 dash. So, that we is transferred. Similarly, if the resistor is transferred from primary to secondary. Next one we will see the when the resistor is transferred from primary to secondary winding. What will happen? The resistance in the primary is R1. When it is transferred to secondary, it is denoted as R1 dash. Right? R1 is the original resistor available in primary. While transferring to secondary, it become R1 dash. Now, what is the drop across R1 in primary? I1 square into R1. Primary means I1. The resistor also R1. But what is the drop in secondary while going to the secondary winding automatically it become R2 square and I2 square into R1 dash because while transferring secondary it become R1 dash. So, I1 square R1 means primary side while referring secondary I2 square into R1 dash. So, based on that is both the effects are equal. So, while transferring any parameter we need to maintain the, the resultant effect should be equal there should not be any deviation that means these two drops are equal. So, I1 square R1 equal to I2 square into R1 dash. So, that I1 dash this I1 dash bring this I2 dash in the denominator. So, that I1 square divided by I2 square into R1. So, that can be written as I1 by I to the whole square I1 by I to the whole square. We know that I1 by I2 is K. In the previous case we have I2 by I1 so that we put 1 by K but I1 by I2 is the K transformation so directly we can put. So, R1 dash equal to K square into R1. So, this is so the resistor transfer from primary to secondary. So, it is multiplied by K square previous case divided by K square. So, that we can refer that the total resistor in the secondary side is R2 already available while transferring the primary it is R1 dash. So, that can be written as R02 equivalent resistance of the transformer as referred to the secondary. This is R02. So, see this diagram the primary winding and secondary winding the primary resistor now transfer to the secondary. So, it become R1 dash both are in series. So, that can be written as R02. So, that R02 equal to R2 plus R1 dash. Now, we can make the calculation because only we have the parameter in the secondary. So, we discuss the that uh, resistor transfer from secondary to primary as well as primary to secondary. Similarly, we can see the leakage reactance. All the flux does not flow in the core, some amount of flux flowing through the air both in primary and secondary winding. The leakage flux give EMF in the primary and secondary winding. It is shown by reactance connected to the primary and secondary winding. So, the reactance will be available due to that 
the flux is not flowing in the core so that emf is produced so that is denoted as a reactance x1 is the reactance in the primary x2 is the reactance in the secondary so similar to resistance we can transfer the reactance also from primary to secondary as well as secondary to primary all the reactants can be transferred to any one side right now consider this x2 dash that is reactance of secondary winding transferred to the primary x2 dash right now the secondary from secondary winding reactance is transferred to the primary so that x2 dash but x2 dash should produce the same effect in primary as x2 in the secondary like previous resistance also same thing we discussed here also this x2 dash effect should be same as x2 in the secondary so each must be having the same reactive power what is the reactive power is nothing but var that is vi sin pi that is nothing but i2 into x current into reactance i2 into x so equating the va consumed by x2 dash and x2 is nothing but i1 square x2 dash equal to i2 square into x2 so this is the original one secondary i2 square x2 while transferring to pri primary it become i1 square the reactants become x2 dash right x2 become x2 dash current is from i2 to i1 so from that we can find x2 dash equal to bring this i1 in the denominator i2 square by i1 square into x2 we know that i1 by i2 is k here i2 by i1 is available so it is minus 1 by k it is equal to 1 by k so what is the final thing x2 dash equal to x2 divided by k square similar very similar to resistor right so while transferring to primary we have x2 by k square so what about the total reactants x2 dash is the equivalent secondary reactants refer to the primary so the total reactants in the primary is x1 as it is in the primary so from secondary is transferred to primary it become x2 dash so x01 total reactants is nothing but in the primary is nothing but x1 plus x2 dash the equivalent reactants of the transformer as referred to the primary the reactance is now transferred to primary similarly if it is transferred from primary to secondary what will happen x1 dash equal to k square into x1 here x square divided by k square here k square into x1 normally when the parameter transfer from primary to secondary it is multiplied by k square secondary to primary divided by k square so that the total reactance is in the secondary x0 equal to x2 plus x1 dash here available x1 plus x2 dash similarly here x2 plus x1 dash similarly we can refer the current and voltage also i2 dash equal to k into i2 i1 dash equal to i1 by k similarly v2 dash equal to v2 by k v1 dash equal to k into v1 we already discussed the primary means multiplied by k secondary means divided by k but in current it is reverse right the primary means divided by k secondary means multiplied by k only the current because the transformation they say we know that v2 by v1 equal to n2 by n1 but current is i1 by i2 while increasing the voltage the current decreases so that i1 by i2 so this here also we referred so accordingly this law of this uh, procedure applied this k multiplied by k primary divided by k secondary is applicable but while going to current it is reverse so in this video we discuss the equivalent resistance as well as reactance while transferring from primary side to secondary what is the equivalent resistance what is the expression for both resistance and reactance subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive Link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.